uh, I feel that Extra PH really wants for maps that maximize contact. And Icebox, Haven are maps that they would really love to play on. Ascent, I'm not really certain about this, but we did see how well Georgie played this yesterday against Zeal. And oh boy, this could be a, a rough start for Oasis. But with this composition they've had, now with the Flasher, I think they have uh, the necessary tools and utilities to uh, at least battle the APH oppression or aggression. Well, let's go into Ascent. We're about to find out how this one goes. Is Action PH. They look to take this cleanly in a 2-0. We start with a pistol round. Action PH will be starting on the D fence. And Oasis will be starting on the all fence. <laughs> what? <laughs> look, man. Yeah. You gotta emphasize the D and the O sometimes, you know? Yeah. It just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just the... All right. <laughs> the, the... <laughs> Oh, okay, that's very risque for Georgie, but maybe he can convert. He does have the dash, so he already expends it. They're oh, already trying flash. to run away, and they're actually bumping heads onto the wall, but nobody from Oasis actually capitalized, unfortunately. And on the other side of the world, uh, Zero Deathio spots out Coco and teammate trying to sneak one in through the B site, but they pay not having it. At least for now, they do slow down the pace, and while Oreo does not have a flash, they could wait for it as they try to hit for the B site, but... Yeah, with that uh, orb take, they should know that somehow a Oasis are still here. Big rotation coming in, Oasis is trying B this time. Marky playing with fire, that turret taking him down at 28. A little bit longer, he would have actually gone down. Marky pushing through spawn here as they look to control it. What a shot right there, long range. And they're gonna bamboozle their way towards spawn instead. They're gonna try to isolate through market, but Archie gets oh. one. Now they know the jig is up. Coco still fighting in B. I'm not sure what the strat is right here from Oasis. It's a little bit wonky. Georgie looking to capitalize. He misses the left. first shot. Eventually gets the kill, but still it's brought down to a 2v2. Oh, no. Missed opportunity there from Marky. Already had it, but he's so low that Motsuki wouldn't even bat him a second eyelash. And Zero actually sneaks one through. But look at this. Indy, he's about to the site. He's actually going to double down. And this puts Zero Standing into a ahead. one versus two. The recon dart will spot him. Standing He'll have ahead. to use one in turn as he needs to spot the two remaining members. This is still a double one swing enemy, and he barely enemy. gets away. Does get tagged though. How well Whoa. can he actually retaliate and even react? Zero Death Yo gets the clutch three piece and the defuse. And he's having, having a celebratory jump. Just, you know, clutch. show his dominance. What a play right there. You know what I love about that play from Sir Deathio? He gets into the perfect position for that Republic of Gla Gamers clutch. It's just fantastic. He gets into that spot to isolate. He picks a headshot angle to make himself more difficult to hit. And sure, he gets tagged down One on the head. Enemy Still, he can't get the body shot through the wall. It'll have to be a double headshot. One he knows this. And in a 2v1 situation, he lands the headshots oh. first. Sierra Death was in an absolute tear here today, stealing away the round from Oasis once more. Yeah, that was a thick shot. You know, the three Cs. Cool, calm, and collected. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> mm, very thick. With the shots. With the shots. Exactly, exactly. Man, I you were you were mentioning how Oasis Coming felt right. like what was that play? I gotta say, I think I like it, but the problem therein lies that they have to check each and every corner in transition, right? It was so risky, but yeah. I like the risk. And speaking of risk, this is the Oasis style before when the Spectre still had that uh, ADS spam uh, feature. They're now force yeah. buying on Spectres yeah. themselves. Uh, honestly, I'm also not sure about that strat when I saw Coco fighting in B. There were still two players in B and he took a solo fight, so I would have rather seen Coco hold mm. spawn instead so that they don't get flanked from the two players, cut them off their cut off their rotation instead. But he goes into B and he dies alone. So there are you know, they can run that strat sure, but I feel like there's a lot of things that they can adjust and fine-tune to make it a little bit. They're gonna force into this with only the smoke to deter them, but to the cross. It's actually still somehow working for Oasis here. Now, Rico is making them a bit more honest, but the value is left. actually spotted. Modski repeats oh. right through. There's one already looking at him. Coco and Marky slowly creeping up, and there it is. And the force buy for Oasis. The risk actually pays off, and now they got themselves a nifty little amount of money and APH back to the drawing board in terms of creds. Oh. 
Now, I'll uh, take a little bit of a look at that replay. Back to that position where Marky gets another one. It's going now is, you know, Marky has been underwhelming on Icebox. I'm hoping this is a little bit of a resurgence for him. And definitely a round stolen away from Action PH on an eco round like that. That's going to boost their confidence a lot. Just the swing that they might need to get back into the series. Nailed them. Oh, oh flash. Went... An even better oh. shot from Georgie. Now, okay, the, the smoke. Stay away here. Ripper, ready for it, but not ready for RG this time. Suddenly, the eagle rounds have, are still looking so deadly in an ascent. With pistols, can be much more effective. Very much a possibility here as they try to barrel their way onto that B side. Coco finding zero death, yo. They still have to find more. Motsky with a right click kill coming up close. And he's gonna try to get on site right now. Picks up a Spectre. Alarm bot gives information. Oh, that's a really good nano swarm. That's a brilliant nano swarm to slow them down. Georgie gets into the picture here. Four players up against one. Envy can't get a single. And that's gonna be another eco steal for one of these teams, and it's Action PH who does it this time around, trading them right back. I don't know if these guys have watched uh, Captain Planet, but there's a lot of eco warriors Nailed them. Uh, playing in this game right now. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna bring pollution down to zero. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> jokes aside, huge, huge upset there for Akshan. Man, APH are they gonna are they gonna go the same route and force buy again? Because now Sean have themselves the Vandal in hand. So we'll see how this goes. But oh man, they're they're fighting this. And Georgie, he's heating up. Okay, Marky shuts him down thankfully because that would have given so much mid control. But actually, Modski double kicks the angle right now and keeps the keeps the pressure up and running on mid, but for the moment, Oasis seemed locked and loaded to right push that there. A main. But again, this is where Astra and Killjoy Util reign supreme. And while that is happening, APH, get that aggressive mid control to kind of uh, add to the pressure. Oh, mid is the name of the game right now. Is Marky who tries to get a little bit of a pick off. Emon is trapped in this corner. He's gonna call for backup here from Mark. He's actually gonna smoke it off just to help Emon. Escape a little bit, so good coordinated escape right there. As Oasis failed to punish that misposition. They will recover a Spectre though, and it's gonna be going into the hands of Wild Oreo. Flash comes through, blinds up Marky. Nano Swarm as well. They're gonna be taking so much damage oh, no. as they approach onto the site. And they're taking a lot of damage here. Are you cleans up one? Ah, Envy trades it down. out, but it's gonna be Envy with a double kill a. on the sheriff. Looking for more as he recovers a Vandal. No, sorry, not Vandal, a Spectre. Spike B2 right now, Spike goes planted. Envy has ultimate, but he has no time to go to A main to, uh, well, utilize that. Maybe he can use it from hell? As they kind of try to Last fight for this one. Standing. Oh, he one actually whips remaining. out the weapon. Zero cycles through, and that could actually cost him the round, which it oh. does. Oh, no. You press that 3 2 1, 3 2 1, and all you see is your teammate dropping down. Oh, unfortunate. And Oasis squeeze another thrifty. These eco warriors, man. Captain Planet is going to be happy. The I am in. <laughs> Last player <laughs> that, oh, One no. enemy remaining. Not like That's this. That's gotta suck, dude. And it's like, you look at the replay, it's like, why the hell were you pressing one, two? If I was his teammate, I'd be like, what are you doing? Why are you pressing one, two, three? Why are you cycling weapons? You gotta be watching my back. That's it. That, that one, two, three cost him the round, dude. It literally did, I think. Because they would have had two players alive. And I Marky was on four HP. I, I can imagine already how... What are these guys are talking about? One, two, three. Yeah, it's this weapon swapping. Well, if you <laughs> don't know, then you don't know. Yeah, yeah. For those who don't, for those who know, you know, you know, you know. it happens. You, you like to weapon swap a bit because it gives you a bit of movement speed boost because again, you're faster when you have the melee out. And it just, I don't know, it maybe makes you mentally prepared when you cycle through weapons, but there are times where it just messes you up. And that, that was one of those. It's a really grave mistake. Oh, that was one of the rare instances of Action PH being a little bit out of sorts here, but now in this 2v2, they approach B site. Yeah. Or will we recover? That's lockdown available. It will be choosing to. Oh, 
Eglon for now. They will be deploying it. He's five, hoping to avoid the stock dart. Hunter Fury to deploy it. Force out. Georgie finds Wild Oreo here. Hunter's Fury actually finds one. Gravity, well, a little bit too late. But Marky kills his. Marky dies in his own teammate. Nano Swarm? Okay. Round is a little bit topsy turvy right now. Is everyone from Action PH going down? What just happened? 10 seconds. Yeah, bit left. rough around the edges, but. Could get rougher as Motsky and Oryu are here to just challenge Motsky, Gung Ho, just charging into the site. Spike has been planted. I don't know if he knows that he's actually in the corner here. One sweep there from Oryu, tries to go again for the peak, and now he knows. Spots it out. No! But, oh, he committed with the spray, but Envy still gets it in the end. And the hero of the round, Invicious, gets it. Just committing, like you said, man, committing to that spray. Just one enemy remaining. Didn't really have the control that he needed. One enemy remaining. A bit unfortunate there for him. Yeah, you even see the bullets just right on here. top of his head because there's the right wall guy racing him. around. <laughs> yeah, him. just. <laughs> What's this? Oh, feels like those '90s cartoons where like Tom gets shot. And... There's just an like outline of bullets around his body. I don't know if that's ever a scene, but it feels like it is. Maybe it's one of those Mandela effects. True. Have you ever heard of a Mandela effect? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I forgot. I remember that. I can't remember the exact definition, but I know what you're talking it's about. It's like when everybody thinks something is true, but it's not. Like, like apparently the Wendy's girl doesn't have braids, but just big deal. Out. You know, uh, or like... Uh, Darth Vader saying, Luke, I am your father. It's, uh, but he never really said it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's a Mandela effect. Well, they're trying to work their way towards mid here. Okay. Could be a nice pick off here. Can't recover the weapon just yet in fear that there might be someone watching over it. That's going to be a 3v3. These pistols have just been so lethal. Could get another one. Ripper falling away. Try to get his... Some, some, some himself onto the site. Zero death deal. He gets one. Spike Almost gets a second B. one. Can't do it. 2v2 still. Now rifles left. collected. Very good chance for Action PH to get back on this as Aryu and Motsky will be working hand in hand. Spike gets one. one Motsky flying in a time for his team. Coco finds out the double. Gonna be two kills for him. And Oasis finally stable. Finally, nobody loses on a thrifty. Yeah, PH kind of overthinking things they're overheating at some intervals here that Mozi didn't have to like jump up there to maybe close the door or something i don't, I don't know what happened there. Look, look at that he just jumped out are was nowhere near him for the for the take they already know that one was on the side the planter right so all they have to really do was just slow peek it they had 40 seconds to make that all work but aph trying to fight battles where they might not have need to kind of rush things Sometimes rushing things is just not the way. Oh, he gets deep through the wall from that. That's gotta suck, but that's the heal already used up here for now, at least. And we'll be we'll see more slow, steady approach coming from Oasis as they try to begin their way to crawl towards that A site. Okay, now that uh, Wild Oreo is set up for A going to be a pinch on both sides but the spike is actually nowhere near the push for a here envy is using his drone but you can see oasis hasn't really fully committed to the idea of the take and georgie he's gonna repeat this but marky is well and prepared if he gets over excited he could give up a very crucial part of this short uh short defense 40 seconds on the clock and it's the calm before the deep plunge as it were I've got your trail. How well can you execute? Georgie. Oh, he gets it. He spots one more. Envy is going to go what? down even through the Seekers. Blinding Georgie here. And he's holding a short like a total hero. Finally, Coco shuts him down. But oh, maybe the this one, is the time. Two, three. No. Oh, Would you still get it? They still get it. Wait, did, why did Ripper? I'm hoping this is reloading. Wait, what? That was another one, two, three. I would have been so upset. But 2v2 suddenly possible. 
locked down now. No way to break it. Forces him out. Mosey looking for the shot. Wild Oreo yet again. 1v2. 1v1 now. Zero Deathio finds him. And he lines up the shot. Zero Deathio with a triple. Yet again, it is Zero Deathio, aka Tesseract, who has for a time and time again been the hero for Atkin PH today. Out of charges. Can we get that replay of why Orococo just opened the door? Was he expecting- Yeah, I'm a little bit confused about that. Yeah, was- seconds left. Was he expecting that he needs to open the door so that he can maybe counter the- Lockdown, maybe. The lockdown? Yeah, but even so, they had like three people, so they could have handled a plant and spotting out Heaven while transitioning to A main. I, I don't know. Because he didn't have anybody to like mark his location and- he was already looking at door as he was opening up and his legs were like ex exposed to the opponent looking at him so that that was just weird uh, strange times indeed here as another scrappy round comes into play Emon doesn't really have anything but a sheriff and so it's gonna be another lesser buy for action ph marky on the blade storm Still have yet to see an operator be picked up eight rounds into the game. Hoping we'll see one soon. Definitely would, I think, boost Come Action on. PH chance Action PH's chance on the defense, especially with the Georgie on it. Double swing out now coming through. But the backup is ready for it. Ripper coming in. Can't get out. Zero death deal gets punished. Two V1 exchange, and that works out really well for them. But Georgie is ready to push. He's ready to capitalize. He finds Marky. Shock darts coming in. And they're actually going to be able to get on site for Oasis. They find the positioning that they need. Spike do planted. they have the bodies? Yes, they do. It's a 3v3. Spike gets planted. And they're going to be trying to work their way, all of them, from B main together. They're going to, they're going to do this because they have res on Emon. So they're going to be looking to make something like this work. There's no space for this to not be punished at all, though. This log position for Mal Oreo is going to be crucial. Let's see how he works. Oh, he got spotted and Georgie actually gets back. This flash is gonna be huge, he actually gets three. Oh, Mal Oreo can't capitalize though. Oh, in the kill, Joy gets nothing on the detain. Coco on an island. He's on the back of the side, does he? Okay, one, but down to three HP. He's breathing, but he can't stop the defuse, can he? Are you no. just has the angle. Oh. APH, how do they get through these, Elu? You, I it. gotta bring it to individual mi misplays, man. Wild Oreo, he gets the perfect flash onto three, but he flashes himself as well, and he could have punished one, maybe two, given his team a fighting chance. But instead, he flashes himself, he's fully blind. And it's all for nothing. There were three players in that corner. Oh, heartbreak moment for Oasis right there as they could have taken it, but Action PH, they level the game. We're tied up. That was so risky for Mokhtar too. But somehow, some way, they did not get detained. Georgie, even though he updrafted, still doesn't get swatted by Wild Oreo. And he even manages to get through on market, which is actually good because if his teammates get detained, he still has an angle to fight the pusher outside of um, B site stairs, right? Which is actually a good angle for Georgie because he, I believe he wasn't uh, smoked off or anything. Akshan PH, that was, I don't know if that was intentional, but it worked out so well from them. I like how there were just three players in the corner. Just like, what's <laughs> up? <laughs> what's up, bro? We're just hanging out here in yeah, this corner. It's like, and at this moment, he knew he was messed up, but yeah. It, it, it went the other way because again you mentioned it Waldorio just you know he friendly fired himself oh great great shot from rip or zero death he'll get the damage but he gets a kill right now Moski looking to come alive but can't is envy and wild oreo it's the sheriff again spike plant okay Last they play the full standing. contact and it works are you does have a wall maybe you can isolate a couple of fights here but yeah, ah. drone, turret, it's the age of the machines, you know? <laughs> yeah, I'm here for John Connor. Get to the chopper. It's the industrialization, no, the modernization age now, and bots will be enough. It's the E age. The E age, as <laughs> we will be replaced by AI at remaining. some point. Turret making a very good argument for that. Yeah. Dude, these sheriffs have just been like insane on it this is one thing that makes a sense so great to watch 
because it's not like Icebox yeah. where the sheriffs and marshals are less effective, but because of the fact that you can get those one hit kills on the head on the sheriff from closer range, yeah, you can find so much more. And again, uh, I'm just gonna point it out there, you know, uh, not as smart stats, but sheriff does what 55 damage to body shots so if you have like three right. people looking at in one direction you hit like three body shots simultaneously that's a that's a full bar hp person down obviously that's not gonna happen every single time or even at all but just pointing it out there or we four, four to five is the score line right now it is just pistols Getting, well, you say I say just pistols. Like they haven't won most of the rounds. Most of the rounds in this game have been yeah. on thrifties. I'd say. I've got your let, let that sink in. Let that sink in for you guys right now. The seekers come in, process that information. As they barrel their way onto that A side. Updraft comes in. It's enough for Marky to find the kill. Get tagged up by the recon. Marky finding a second. Gonna be Three. cleaned up right now. Marky. Kill. Okay. We're. Zero Death, yo, making a good argument as to why they can hold on. We'll recover a rifle rotation coming towards B. Moski does have uh, a rifle in. Oh, he, 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 he looked at each other. Wait, Mark, uh, Moski put back all of his utility. So he's hiding at the back of the site right now. I don't Germany. think they know he's there, so he may be able to pop out like a Viper and Sting. But Envy capitalizes. How good is this lineup to stop the plan? Not enough. 2v1. Close. A nano swarm. <laughs> that was so anticlimactic. That is just BS, man. That that is just so no way. He just gets killed through the wall, right? You there. were building it's... up to it too. I, I felt it. Yeah, it was like one v two. He can do this. He gets a time, no time. So blah 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 blah. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, great casting right there. <laughs> yeah, that's done. <laughs> oh, finally an up though. It's on Georgie though, so not That's Oasis. A good thing. Yeah, true, true, true. I mean, I'm happy to finally see an off. Oh, four men peek on mid. You. <laughs> this, this is brave. This is quite the the baldy play here. <laughs> the drone is dodging. <laughs> what are we watching? <laughs> uh, oh my goodness! I love it. Oh. Uh, it's not any shenanigans for APH. It's it's a good strat, but it just looks funny at the at the Covering base level. <laughs> this is um, oh. I wouldn't say kankoi, you know what I mean? But it's like, <laughs> it, it, it... hey man, rule seventeen, you gotta enjoy the little things. Is it the seventeen? Of course, of course, we gotta enjoy the little things, Asura. How would how else would you get any pleasure out of life? True, true. You are divided. You have to make the small things count. But, like us, we're the short kings. <laughs> yeah, king. <laughs> I'm being oppressed! I am being hey, for those who don't know, Elu's been uh, quoting Monty five since yesterday. <laughs> okay. you well, should right. We're back to B side right now. But on left. A, Marky's enough to get one. Holds the rotation. Now that's information given. Lockdown comes no in right one. through. Who run? The Hunter Fury does clear out the back of sight. Oh, Georgie. Georgie. One enemy remaining. Okay. He's whipped out the blades and it's enough. Killjoy Ultimate does absolutely nothing to stifle the defense Last from stopping them from in moving in. Uh, invading on the B site. And APH, they have a case to make this into a 6 to 6. Oh, that's how he got it. I thought he just like peeked One out through the smoke, remains. but he was actually boosted on top. He even had the blades out just for uh, security. And Georgie doesn't seem to play the operator too much unless he has the blades when he buys it, just so that he has something to fight the people coming in. I don't think I've ever seen Georgie like Get out of do my a soul down where he plays with like a shorty. I could be mistaken though, but at least from what I've seen, it's not the case. So I like the, the safety. Oh, oh. I, I think that's a fair assessment. I don't think I've seen it either here. And Georgie, though, playing close to the operator, will be faced off quite closely. The rest of the members here now working their way towards short. There is a lot of presence here towards mid. That four-man mid earlier might have worked this round. 
but instead they're pushing towards a look how far they're getting all the way to a main they have full control of it how far will they push is the question indy's pushed really deep into this modski the sub tries to isolate the fight but he gets isolated himself that's unfortunate for him but this gives away to some breathing space on mid though now as he try to smoke right in no one is on the side itself. Zero death. Yo, oh, 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 what a shot! Even to the void! He actually gets back with the straight. What a shot! From Zero. He's already gotten the four. Has to reload though, but the impact is already done. Georgie misses the beat, and Marky gives an opportunity here. Does he have the spike? No, he's got to pick it up on B main. He does have the dash. He has to use it, but he has spotted at least one. Trying to repeat the angle, maybe to get a free kill to isolate the fight. And now he will try to do so. They hear him. They line up for him. Well, making some impact. Making some plays. Pistol the pistol the pistol. And my nose is getting chased down. And Marky still clutches the round after the valiant effort from Zero Death. Yo, that is a Republic of Gamers clutch for you, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Back to back 4K heroics from both Zero Death, yo, and Marky. I am in awe. Look at this. Beautiful fade away tap. So sexy to watch. Gets another one. Four four keys it off, but Marky does just as good in a clutch situation as well. Keeps his cool, whips it out, the pistol. And stylish jumping right click to seal the deal. Amazing play from both of these players. It is a treat to watch this. This is the map that we've been looking forward to. None of that ice box that we saw last game. This is the one. Yeah, who, who wants to go to like a super cold place, right? That has ice in the name. I do. It's pretty hot. It's getting pretty hot here, man. If I'm being honest. <laughs> Tropical countries. Oh. Okay. Shot for shot. Hit for tat. Mark, he tries to just dash right through, but it's spotted as Emon. It does give the call for the rest of APH to start moving past. This wall actually does nothing. Wow. And Envy even has a lineup just to stop the plant, but it finds Emon, who was uh, already pretty severely low. And this is going to be a three versus three. With the long or with the delayed lurk coming in from Motsky, I don't think Coco will assume this, but he is a bit cautious of it. Yeah, aware of the potential flank, guiding light coming through. Enemy Not looking the right way as they both the get executed by Are You Playing Close in the Smoke. Great round here from Oasis. I mean, sorry, excuse me, from Action PH to close that gap get into the second half of it. Look at that. Very nicely done. Very nicely timed by RU. Cute doggy. My dog scooter. I mean, it is a drawing, so... It is a drawing. Yeah. It is also a dash hunt. A hot dog dog. Oh, okay. I literally just called it sort of... It's called a hot dog. Didn't notice the shand. Sounds like a name. Yeah. The shand. Okay. Uh, anyways, Jordy is already knocking at Heaven's door here as he breaks down the switch. You know that he bought up a very aggressive weapon. Modski readjusts, finds the pick. That's the pinch already. Spike still outside of B main, but over to the fight. They're just trying to maybe maneuver things through. Envy does get the pinch, but the refrag to come in swift. Taylor, as it were. Two in the back of the site, still holding. I like this. Oasis' final bastions. Now gonna just try to crisscross if they can. It's not gonna work out, and that spike is already gone from B. Envy though, slowly creeping up. I don't think he knows about this, but he doesn't know about Georgie lurking just to get that refrag. And I'd say a pretty clean round for APH. I I'd say so. It's one of the, you know, you know what, man. Any round that you, any anti eco round that you win, that's a that's already a pretty clean round by these standards because you know. In every eco round, I'd say completely topsy turvy. And as we get into the half, the second half right now, it's all up to the members here of Action PH to see if they can start to build that stability here that we haven't really seen for the rest of the game. It's really been up and down. Right now, we're at round 15 and it's still dead tied. It's 7 7. Ooh, Envy, you naughty boy. He's bought a uh, Odin. 
Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Naughty, naughty boy. <laughs> yeah. There's like a three stack on well, A main, have to be by a the European way. European accent every time we do that. But uh, Georgie right now know. coming in from the flank. It works out. And they still have to deal with the Ripper, though. He's in the corner. Ripper's fighting, too. Ripper's not giving up. Ripper is finally ripped apart. And that's going to be a 2v3 here as they work their way onto that A slide. Now, it. planted down. They're going to be finding out where are you is. Location is revealed in Envy with the Odin. He gets a ding. It's not the kill. A little bit unfortunate from that range here as Coco is the only one. Seven bullets in the chamber. Finally, will be going for the reload. I think he does have the turret to keep him safe, but not that safe as Motsuki executes him getting that advantage. Action PH now take the lead. And they do with a swift retaliation. Uh, Odin does better on B than it does A, and that's the reason why. You don't have anything to fall back on, just a straight shooting gallery from Heaven fighting against A main. And again, if your team, if your opponent hits that headshot, it's as simple as that. You just drop Time down, out. right? Even though uh, Valorant free. mechanics, if you hit a headshot um, with anything, Placing you do an, an aim punch, Placing which is you wiggle free. your opponent's screen because of damage. I still, I still think that doesn't really work in that scenario. Anyways, um, Oasis now on weaker by. Weaker by has never really been a deterrent too much. Well, not at least in this round. Ripper. Well, the last two oh, with a guard to three no. with a oh, 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 oh. ridiculous oh, plays coming in from these players right now. It's suddenly brought to a 2v2. Doesn't matter what you have in your hands, they're gonna make it work. As now, a site is going to be the site of choosing to the site of action. PH Ripper once more has been the linchpin for his team, the, fa the X factor. But will it be enough? Will he have enough chemical X to make you should run? something special well let's see if they can dun 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 their way to uh, that was <laughs> victory not the right here. melody dun, it dun, is dun, 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 that was a melody yeah exactly exactly anyways kill your ultimate just to delay but there is still some time to fight for this one but that nano swarm makes a compelling case to delay the fight there is that corner right now where the fuse is pushing through but look at this, he hasn't committed to the peak just yet, and now he's spotted out while Oreo, maybe? It's not gonna work out, Modeski actually swings out in the nick of time, and that is gonna be another upfront PH round claimed. A bit, uh, a bit expensive as Ripper, as you mentioned, was wilding. He was bussing with, <laughs> with the, with the, what weapon was that again? Uh, the Guardian, but it was not enough. Reality. The Guardian was right just almost, I right actually there. think he died. I, hear me out, I actually genuinely think Ripper died because his teammates were there. Because he got body blocked trying to jiggle peek, you know? Yeah, I, think I saw Marchie like out. bump into him too. Yeah, yeah, dash. I think he could have actually gotten away if he wasn't bumped. He probably, he might have even gotten a fourth kill. So, a little yeah. bit unfortunate there. You know what they say? Two's a couple, three's a crowd, four, I don't, four's a party? Hmm? Four, yeah, sure. Let's, yeah. let's party, bro. <laughs> Oh, does Marky have blades? Oh, that would have been nice if he had blades. That would have been, I feel like, a kill on Georgie. Might have like, been a speculative shot right there just to get some information towards mid, but they've given mid up completely on the Oasis side. As right now, it is the B site that they are looking to gear towards. But will they go full throttle on it? Seems like the execute is inevitable. The stars come out. Ripper getting the timing yet again. Only able to find one this time on the hold. They still have to deal with one more. Georgie taking a lot of damage. Just 44 HP left on him. As he tries to make his approach to the site. Envy flushed out of the corner. Envy taken down. Argue right there. He's gonna be able to get that kill. Now a 3v4 as Action PH is looking for double digits here. Shock Dart coming through. Can't land. You want to fight Very it. nicely here. Cosmic Divide as well will be lined up. They should be going alongside a Flash trying to enter into this for this retake. But right around this corner, Georgie. Oh, he just got knife. He got knife. He got knife through the wall, but still, will it be enough? To, they're taking too long. They need to decide now. Otherwise, they'll need to save. And they're stalled out in the middle of lane here. Marky finally swinging in, but Zero is remaining. ready. Coco gets one, but I think it's too little, too late. They walled off the other side here. Might just look to keep them inside and get these exit frags at this point. And I think that's exactly what Wild Oreo is going to do. He's just going for exits, trying to make it expensive. Zero Deathio gets his third kill, but it will not matter. Action PH, fine. Double digits.
at this point, it doesn't matter if they, like, die to the spike. Because APH, yeah, they're completely stacked. It happened yesterday uh, when APH went up against Zeal, and that is just full blown. Yeah. Predicting Oasis? I actually don't know. I, I didn't get a chance to speak with him before it started. But yeah, Ripper again with a Guardian. Definitely something to watch out for. We're not seeing Oasis firing on all cylinders today. This is the, I'd say, one of the worst performances that we've seen from Wild Oreo yet. And obviously, I don't want to be too crazy, but you know, he, it's yeah. not. He's not like hard carrying like he normally does alongside uh, Envy. It's all about Ripper right now, who is coming into play here. Yeah. Mark contributing as well. Definitely would like to see Wild Oreo feel a little bit more comfortable. Maybe it's the nerve. Maybe it's the sports time here. But Mark, he definitely keeping things cool with that Spectre as he finds another pick off. If Oasis do, do lose this, they're gonna be facing Zeal, I believe, for the lower bracket in their final life. Uh, eat your words, Zilu. Eat your words. Uh, yeah, I thank you. I was so hoping that would happen. <laughs> no, really, honestly, I have been waiting for yeah, you guys to pop off. And finally, what a way to get into this with a double, a beautiful double kill. And the Sheriff here for Wild Oreo, and then Inzu. Getting that double kill with the Hunter's mm. Fury. Exactly what we needed from the two-star players of Oasis. That is such a big boost for them. There will possibly still be about maybe one, two rounds where AK can still buy. And this is where Oasis needs to hold on. If they can get the, they can push APH back to the weaker purchases. This is going to be a huge, uh, a huge undertaking for them. Anyways, Motsuki, I believe, got tagged a little bit, so he calls immediately for the heal. And this is where Georgie wants to always go for the push. That mid side push, he just, he just uh, favors this. As you mentioned it a while ago, Oasis just gives up the control here. If they try to go for a short, there's going to be a lot of eyes towards that. The uh, specific location and i was wondering maybe a flank could happen on top mid but rnu's got that locked and loaded and i'm really loving the mid map control here for aph as it uh, spreads the members of oasis quite thin and because they don't have that information look at how afraid they are and they have to guess and they're guessing wrong they three stack on a but aph is already looking for b i like the idea to wall up ct especially because they are going all through b main it's interesting they take some time they wall off mid and now they go all b main it's a very interesting strat let's see if it pays off for them now they dash in here comes the hunter spear as well to help them clear the site good information indy with a perfect free on you have to find modes for the ruins. Tries to spray it through as well, but close to nice. out from the stairs. Red comes in, but can they keep him alive? Absolutely not. The nice shut down, shut out. As it's going to be another 4K for Envy. Just when you need him to step up the most, he does. Ooh. Oasis. That was so risk, but Envy. Yeah, best flex player in the Philippines. Silence. Right there. That's the reason why. Look at it. And even for these... Uh, they're in danger of losing the lead. We have been brought down to a one-round disparity between the both of these teams. The operator finally coming out for Marky. This is what we've been waiting to see. He has been shying away from using this operator. And, and now I'm hoping he can do something along with it. It seems like it's going to be an aggressive ape here, or rather just a passive one for now. Blade Storm available for Georgie, and they're going to be trying to go here towards short. That was fast, too. They only got, like, the flash first, so they're expecting maybe more in A main. But look at how many people there are already waiting for this one. Ripper! Timing to pull! Oh, that's so unfortunate. He was trying to maybe break the recon. And now... Oh, oh, no! Mario tries to just maybe back on wow. through, but... Oh, this is... This is just an awkward team phase for a way to this literally is. Oh, you know all about one that one. enemy remaining. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. We, we all would. Let's be yeah, honest. Well. But I, I love what, it, what Action PH have done here. Just when you think they... Just when you think that they're starting to slow down, because they haven't playing each round slowly, what do they do? Change up the pace. They start to play aggressive. They hit the A side quick and fast. They go to the short with a three-man push, four-man push. It actually really, really works out for them because for previous rounds, they've just been playing slow. They brought out the slow play strats, walled off mid, yeah. and made a slow rotation to be, but this time they're like, you know what? Let's pick a fight. 
see if we win it. And they do. And that should be a very big momentum morale boost for the side of Afton PH. Might I just add as well, uh, Zero Deathio was on A main. And for those Sova players out there, you know that there's a dart that you can use from A main that actually hits the tree on short. And what that does is it spots out the tree person. And I just, for sure, Ripper just did not know where to shoot that uh, dart. It's actually very difficult to spot it. And that just messed him up. I'm pretty, like, and again, because of how the Wild Oreo Flash got a blinded on A main, they expected more players from APH to actually be run. there. Uh, with that being said, though, Oasis did have two flankers, but Zero Death, yo, he just dealt, deals with them unfazed. Now, if there was a Nano Swarm lineup, this could be a good setup, but it's not gonna work. Mark has gotta back away. Save. Yeah, have to. I mean, it's a 2v4. They've already got someone flanking you. You have an AWP on the retake. And you don't really have much rounds to play with or give away. Here. Good shot from Marky. What? Hold on. Wait a minute. He's gonna try to go for it. He's getting to half. It's all up to Mark. He's on site. They've got to get him. Could he do it? No, Dorothy. He identifies the last player. Marky in the smoke. Very, very close. He's getting it to half. Point. And for a moment, you thought it was possible. But Action PH have taken match point. He had to commit. Zero Death Yo was still alive. So, no well. yeah, if he, even if he beat Georgie, Zero was there to uh, refrag. So there was absolutely no chance. Zero was already closing in as well. So he had to just risk it all. And you can have it underneath right. the pod burst, but again, Georgie is so experienced in that position that he just knows where you, you are specifically. Georgie with a great way, a great play identifying that last player. And we go to match point here. Has to be absolute perfection from Oasis. They pulled out the operator. It did do some, it did do work to some effect, but not enough to win them the double digits. Instead, we will be seeing Ashton PH potentially can be at 13 and 9 here, especially after that weak buy right now. Oh, wait, they don't really have much, much. Having the smoke timer here, and Jordy trying to pinch again. Oasis not knowing where the brunt of the squad actually lies, but APH, they like to the default for these mid plays. With that being said, it is going to be down to Wild Ori. He only has a Spectre. It. Does he have flash? Not even so, in the full contact. He actually wiggles, the trade. but yeah, he stops dead in the tracks. Left. 30 Ripper. seconds left. Oh, that's enough. And I think this is pretty much game set and match right here. It's a 2v4 with Spectres. I just don't think there's any way that they can get into this. They do have a player working their way to short, so it's possible, that's right. I, I just don't think it's go It's very, very likely. They close the door, so they if they break it, they know it's going to be there. Coco does pick up the Vandal. Marky just dashes right in, but he's blind. He actually has no information about this. Even if he tries to wiggle one through, oh. he's not going to be able to do that because there's just so many eyes set as the Cloudburst dissipates. That is going to be a series taken in APH. Wow. And there it is again, Splooderman. Splooderman. Flip, flip. I, I just watched No Way Home, by the way. I'm not going to Oh, good it. for you. Good for you. Anyway. Uh... Honestly, great stuff from Action PH. Thoroughly enjoyed how they played this. Absolutely amazing. <laughs>